Hi everyone. So I'm really grateful that a lot of students have requested to talk to me, and uh, I'm apologizing that I have not been able to attend many BTR offline classes in person because of my professional commitments. But this is a heartfelt message from my side to all the students, where I'll try to explain a common query. which a lot of students have asked me that sir i feel stuck i feel that there is no progress i am making and that sense of negativity starts cropping in so one day i was thinking that a lot of students have the similar type of complaints so how do i help them how do i explain them what they should do and i try to think that why it doesn't happen to me very often what do i do differently from other people so then i read somewhere there's something called as the loop theory of progress so that is what i want to share with all the students that how you can transform your life into progression from one infinity loop to another growth loop so what i mean by infinity loop is that many of us on a daily basis are stuck in a repetitive cycle of stress anxiety and depression so trying to understand why that happens to few people this concept of infinity loop comes in what do we mean by infinity loop is that every individual has a particular way of reacting to the environment it might be during your preparation time it might be in your personal life it might be a reaction you give to your boyfriend or your girlfriend it might be a reaction you give to your teachers to your parents to your friends and the way you react to the environment that is your intersection point and that intersection point if that keeps on happening repeatedly to you it will keep on coming back to you infinitely and you will keep on having similar events in your life which forms a particular habit that is why people who have bad habits they are in an infinite loop and they don't make progress whereas people who are successful people who are happy in life who are not depressed doesn't mean they don't have problems doesn't mean they are not facing difficulties doesn't mean they are not facing setbacks or failures in their personal or professional life they do but they don't intersect at the same point and that's why they form what is called as the growth loop or the helix they miss that intersection point they don't react in the way their environment expects them to be okay so let us suppose for a student who is giving a particular gt let us suppose out of 200 that student scored somewhere around 130 125 in the previous gt also the student was scoring around 125 130 so after one time the people keep on asking themselves why my score is not improving why my score is not improving your score is not improving because you are following a particular pattern of mistakes it is like a habit it is like if you are addicted to smoking you'll find any room any free time you get and go and smoke that's a habit or if you have a particular way of reacting to particular things if you have temper issues you will react that way only so similarly when you are in preparation there are some events which keep on happening on daily basis which can take you towards a depressive infinite loop how you react to that event 
will define whether you will grow or whether you go back into that infinite loop your reaction formation is your intersection point so let us suppose a student gives that gt and is not scoring well or has scored terribly well you don't have to go into that negative cycle that is your intersection point that is where you need to stop that is the time you say to yourself it's okay the only way to miss the intersection point in personal and professional life to enter an infinity loop is to accept and say it's okay and you move forward you learn the lesson okay fine this didn't go my way this was the things i did wrong but it's okay it's human to make a mistake and if i am not the use attitude that it's okay you have to move forward is difference between the infinity loop and the growth loop and honestly speaking a lot of self pity and crying and babbling and saying only bad things happen to me or things don't go my way despite i work hard is not going to solve your problem things don't go to the way they should for most people in their life how you behave and react to it is your choice so every day you will have multiple small choices to make if you think most successful people make big choices no they don't they make very 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 small choices on their day to day basis as small as whether you want to eat a particular thing or not whether you would talk to one particular person or not whether you want to take a nap or not whether you want to relax or not whether you want to party or not whether you want to go to sleep at this time or not they make very very small choices very very small whether you want to keep your mouth shut or not at some times so you will have to make very very small choices and if you are stuck in an infinite loop of depression sadness and anxiety it means on daily basis you are making that same wrong choice that same small wrong choice again and again which is taking you back so what i would request all students is that go and analyze your life go and analyze your one day and identify that intersection point where you are making that same mistake again and again it is not that gt it is not that person in your life it's not your parents it's not your boyfriend it's you who is making that choice that choice of reacting to that particular intersection so if you don't react to that intersection in the same way you react and say it's okay and move forward eventually you will enter into a growth loop how fast that loop will progress that depends definitely on your environment but it will progress someone will progress at millimeters someone at centimeters someone will be very very fast but at least you will get out of that infinite loop if you control your reaction formation to any environmental event there are four parts and this is very very crucial concept for students to understand because for any habit to form there is a trigger there is a thought process there is a reaction formation and there is a reward what happened to most people who are either unsuccessful or sad is that they focus either on the trigger and they just directly re reach the reward so your thought is stuck between the trigger and the reward what happens that let us suppose i woke up today i had a trigger that okay fine watching dr ravi's video triggered me and i will study hard i'll change myself from today good enough trigger some of you might get that trigger today but over years i have gotten many <laughs> students saying okay sir i feel very motivated after talking to you but that motivation dies off that motivation dies off because you shift from trigger to the reward you take up the trigger you start preparing you start working hard and there are events where you keep and drift into your thought thinking about the reward either a positive reward or a negative reward someone of might you might get very excited and say okay fine i am working very hard this is the thing and you shift to a positive reward automatically and thinking 
okay fine i have gotten my dream branch and some of you might get triggered and then shift on to a negative thought process and say okay i'll not get the reward so you keep on shuffling between this trigger and reward because everyone is too much obsessed about the reward that what will be the end point what will be the outcome this is what you need to change the reward will occur on its own it will happen but you need to follow a proper process of a trigger and having a thought process and having a reaction formation and then having a reward what you need to focus is on your reaction and your thought process if your thought process is good you will have to control your reaction formation to every external environmental thing everything which happens in your environment from your gt to your preparation to your parents to your family to your friends to your relations everything you will have to control in the environment the reaction formation so you you don't focus on the reward you focus on the reaction when you focus on the reaction that is when you enter a growth helix a growth loop if you focus on the reward you will enter an infinity loop which will land you nowhere so it's my request to all the students please go back and on each day of your preparation try to find that event where had you reacted differently you would have met your target and those moments will be those where you would have failed tell yourself when you fail on small basis on daily basis it's okay and move forward don't compare yourself with others you don't know how anyone else is doing that is just your hypothetical assumption focus on your reaction when you think about your friends too much how they are preparing what they are preparing you are again focusing on the environment the reaction formation is wrong and there you enter that infinite loop change your reaction formation even if you are told by your friend that he or she has finished this much of syllabus and you are lagging behind you say it's okay that's how you react it's okay i have my own journey i have my own preparation i have my own focus i'll do what is needed for myself so your reaction to that event has to change and the moment you change that reaction you enter that helix and there is no intersection point so please if you want to get out of that infinite sadness and depression and want to be successful and happy in life on daily basis find those small intersection points where you start entering that infinite loop and change the way you react on daily basis you don't need to make very very big changes you need to make very small changes how you react to a phone call how you react to a comment how you react to your score in gt as small as this and move forward that's how you will enter the growth helix thank you